Worse. For work. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poorer. <laughs> For poor. For poorer. <laughs> For poorer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we hit that snag about 20 times in counseling. Brill made it very clear to Jonathan, you cannot be broke. Hello, welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> we didn't talk about that one in council. We did talk about that in council. Yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. All right. <laughs> you know, I see two red flags. Red flag number one for poor. Did you guys see her reaction? And then the obey. Do you guys also see how she reacted? I know we always blame the women, you know, the women, black women are this, you know, black women are that, black women uh, you know, they're disrespectful they're this, but at some point, when a black man gonna hold themselves accountable? This man just stood there. This woman just showed you she is not going to obey you. Two, when things get hard, she is going to leave you. She just showed this to you. On your wedding day, and you are kicking, hey, 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 you are kicking and laughing. Everybody in the audience thought it was funny. That was not a fucking thing that was funny about the way this lady acted. A man with self respect would have just said, you know what? I think, Pastor, I changed my mind. Because this same brother is gonna go through hell with this woman. He's gonna file for divorce, or she's gonna cheat on him, and he's gonna come on YouTube, come under my comment section, and start bashing black women. And I'm sure this is not the first time she has shown this side of her. But he overlooked all the red signs, proposed, and here it is on the wedding day. I he thought it was funny. So gentlemen, sometimes, man, you beta simp as men are a fault. It's not always black women. Sometimes it's you lames. You made it this far. Hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. You're troubled, you belong in a psych ward, and I pity you greatly. TikTok is very toxic, very, very toxic, especially when it comes to bashing black men. So every once in a while, it's good to come across some posts by some sisters that are tired of the way black women, well, American black women, because I know how you guys like to correct me, <laughs> the way American black women always bashing black men. So it's good to see some sisters that sometimes speak up against it. I attended a women's event the other day and in order to further the women's empowerment, thinking this was going to be like, you know, it and it was going to be good, right? Wrong. So the lady who was spearheading this event felt the need to discredit black men in order for the furtherance of black women. Problem for me. In order for one particular group to be furthered, it doesn't mean you've got to discount or discredit the other one. There are people who actually try to make women that have loving partners feel bad because they receive love and because their partner likes to take care of them. And while there are plenty of us who are able to, you know, make our own money, do our own thing, we still can rely on our spouses. There is nothing wrong with that, ladies. Let me tell you that. And do not ever think for one minute that a hurt woman is going to pour into you and uplift you in the right way. What will happen is they will pour and project onto you how they feel or view men as a whole simply because they're bitter. And I always say this, you cannot grow, you cannot learn anything other than how to not be a bitter person from a bitter person. So this woman's means of furthering women, namely black women, was putting down black men, which to me, big no-no, because we don't have one without the other. And it's interesting to me how quickly we are 
the race that's willing to dismiss our men just like this. Like, what the hell is wrong with y'all? I really do not like that. And for me, it's a big deal because we have people like this that are putting poison in the ears of other women and it is causing an even greater divide. And while people's experiences may be different from place to place, time, season, you know, whatever, there is still a need for both, period, men and women. I guess it was just meant for me to talk about this topic because somebody sent me a DM requesting this topic and then I scroll down TikTok and I see this video. Anyway, watch this. When you have a father in your life, like myself, when you watch a man take lead, like growing up, you want those type of principles when you look forward to a man. And if my dad is head honcho of my house and is taking care of shit, then I'm expecting a to come in my life and do the same thing. Women will often say that about a man, like he has to live up to the standards of my father. But when a man says, I want the woman to live up to the standards of my mother, uh, I'm not here to be your mother, that you got mommy issues and all that. So why is it different when a man looks for expectations in a woman that he sees in his mother? And your I answer, that's what you call him dad. Y'all, dad. Dad. y'all can try to argue all day long about this. What he said was true. Let me just start out by saying, ladies, if you have a father or a father figure in your life who has shown you what a man should be, there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You learning from your father how to be treated by a man is actually a good thing. But you also have to understand that men who have mothers, those mothers are going to be teaching their sons what to expect from a woman because y'all love saying i'm not about to cook and clean i'm not his mama yada 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 but if a man were to say it's not my job to provide and protect because i'm not your dad see how up that sounds y'all gotta stop with this attitude of i'm not his mom so i'm not about to cook for him i'm not about to clean up i'm not about to do laundry because i'm not his mama especially if you the type who will get mad if he uses that same logic in reverse on you you guys remember the truth in Brianna saga? The domestic saga where she called the cops and said that he beat her and he had a gun. And then the world found out she lied. The world owes that man an, an apology because we, 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 we tore him apart. We tore him down. We beat him down. I know I did my brother i'm sorry now that we know that the truth is out there and she lied and the lies keep coming and the lies keep coming she should be ashamed of herself when women are disrespectful towards men do you know what that really displays that displays the disrespect that she has for herself she does not feel good about something about herself therefore she has to point the finger and show you disrespect what needs to happen is she needs to do the work in here so that way she can learn how to control her emotions. So that way she doesn't go around disrespecting men all the time and pointing the finger at men all the time. A discussion that's long overdue. I'm tired of hearing the is foul. It's, it's trash, throw it out. It's a good billion good out here. If your man gives you a blueprint and tells you, this is how I want you to love me, this is how I want you to tend to me, cater to me, nurture me, whatever, so that I could be content in this relationship. Why are you not listening? You don't go to a job and they give you the, do- the job description and you f- wing it. So why are you winging it in your relationship and expecting the man to, you know, be loyal to you? I'm confused. But you want a man to love you in your love language. Women need to stop that one sided ish. I can't stand it. I don't, I don't like it. If you two choose to come together and y'all verbalize things, why not respect it? Don't you think that would make the, e- the relationship go much easier? Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Either way, leave your comments below so we can start this conversation. Until the next video, stay safe in the streets. Later. Now we wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please, leave your comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to, okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you on an endless episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the Black Nuclear Family. It is needed, okay? 
God bless.